Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and healthy, enjoy and accept your every changes in life, because life is a journey, gaining and losing things and people is just a part of this journey, to finding and realizing the truth is the goal of our journey, anyway that is the another topic of my YouTube channels, this is your today's puzzle, this is 60 to 70 IQ chess puzzle, solve it and comment me, I will give you a heart, mittens started with e4, I played Sicilian defense c5, knight to f3. Sicilian defense is one of the most theoretical and complicated opening, to memorize all of its variations and moves is very hard for a human, not for me, you can play e6 or Hungarian variation, d6 and knight c6 is future moves, we have e6, here you have d4 move, or you can choose alapin line, c3 then d4, bishop here and knight c3 also available, we have d4, pawn takes, knight takes d4, knight here, we have knight c3, controlling over the center squares, knight to f6 by me, bishop e2, d5, takes and takes. In Sicilian defense and four knights variation, the d-pawn looks like he is alone and single weak pawn center because he have no supporter behind of him, but he is not weak, he is becoming more stronger, the river gets more speed when it encounters many stone and mud obstacles in its course, the will be secured by the bishop, and he is well protected by the big pieces and d4 will be a threat in future, we have castle, bishop to d6, getting the diagonal to attack the king on h2, after doing castle. Rook will come here to use the open file, ok we have bishop to b5, castle, ignoring the threat that the knight is targeted by the two pieces, so mittens take it, takes and the pawn gets sacrificed, bishop takes pawn, in this position, I played brilliant move, I sacrificed my bishop on h2, here Mittens thinks that, why would I take your bishop, you will give me a queen check on d6 and take back your bishop, I will slide my king by playing simply king h1, I am not Magnus. I am Mittens and I will not accept your sacrifice, so bishop to g4, the bishop's brothers come to create problems for white, now face f3, targeting the bishop and your another bishop is also in a under attack, so I moved back my bishop, sacrificing the bishop, Pawn takes g4, I am down a pawn and material but the evaluation bar is in my side, if you down a pawn then it's become almost impossible to defeat your opponent, but I down materials and I am winning here, that's why nobody can become stockfish. Not in the present and not in the near future, so I played knight to e4, giving a another piece to him, because Mikhail Tal was my subscriber, if you dare to take the knight, then kill a move queen to h4 check, king to g1, then bishop h2 check, the escaping square is covered by the queen, so after king here, check, here and it will be checkmate, so back to the position, if you try to get rid from queen check by playing king to g1, let me show you the variation, now queen h4 check is worthless. So bishop b1 check, the bishop have no support on there, so rook blocks on f2, knight takes rook, targeting the queen, so if you play queen takes pawn to giving a queen exchange offer, then knight backs, it's a discover check, here, then queen f6 check, king here then knight takes check, pawn takes, rook check, bishop takes, rook takes check, here, queen check, king here, then it will be a checkmate on e2, game will be over, Arnish Mitten's dream is still a dream, so, back to the position, if you play queen to f3. Thinking that the queen can block it, then think your best, queen h4 check, queen blocks on h3, then knight g3 check, king g1 and bishop check, rook blocks and check, rook cannot take it because it's pinned, so after king here, queen takes rook and threatening mate in one, so knight captures it, queen check, king here and takes, you may think that, each side have equal materials so the evaluation bar should remain equal, but chess is like happiness, it's not about who have more money, success and name frames it's about who have right knowledge and imagination to understand happiness and chess, here if you play normal move to equalize the position with bishop takes rook, then bishop check and king back, queen e1 will be checkmate, game will be over for the king because he have no more health to live and enjoy the life instead of collecting things and making money, so back to the position. Mittens calculates all of these variations because he is my subscriber and Arnish become my new subscriber, and what are doing? If you still haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, then you can subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more episodes, knight takes check, king here, 
that's why he played g2, to create breathing room for the king, knight takes, taking the knight is not good because rook is more worthy than a knight so bishop takes rook, now we have knight h2, bishop takes d5, queen goes to h4. Threatening to give a check on g3 with the bishop, the king have go back, then knight to f3, occupying these squares with knight to deliver checkmate to the king, how would you stop him from giving triple checkmate threads? So, in this position we have knight to e4, try to block it, now come knight takes g4, queen g1, queen to h5, targeting to the bishop, so, c4, rook to e8, bishop on d2, queen backs, to target the knight with two pieces, mittens played king h3 to target the knight, rook up to e5 instead of taking the knight, but if you really think to take the knight, for example if queen takes knight happen, then rook h5 check will come, the king can't go there because of this, so after king backs I will win your queen, so. Back to the position, mittens give back my bishop on f7, king cannot take it, let me show you why, then knight check, if you think two pieces for a rook is good, rook takes takes and takes, then queen takes g4, white have rook for a bishop, and white is winning here, queen check will not work. Because the king will be well protected on there, so back to the position, we have queen takes bishop, queen takes, and h5, queen c check here, knight backs, rook back to e8, queen check, I have to take it, knight takes queen, rook on e2, targeting the bishop, and if you try to save the bishop by playing bishop to c3, try to protect this pawn at the same time, then rook h2 check will come which will be a checkmate to the king, Arnish mittens will cry again, so, back to the position, we have knight back to g3. This position is a draw, I can't make progress with the bishop and rook in front of a rook, so wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.